Americans ambushed in Mexico. Five children hid in the bushes. This as a 13 year old ran to get help. Yeah, all the, the family victims are part of the fam All of the victims are part of one family and some of their relatives live right here in Kansas City. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfeld has more on the attack. A horrific situation, Ariel. Oh, it is awful, Kristen. Kevin, we want to show you the faces of the victims. They are wives, mothers, sons, daughters and siblings, all of whom were victims of a surprise ambush and will now be missed. First, she read the messages. There's been something horrible, something's going on. And then she saw the video. Nita and four of my grandchildren are burnt and shot up. Of this charred, bullet-ridden SUV driven by her first cousin, Ronita, one of three mothers ambushed while traveling in three separate SUVs. It used to be beautiful down there, beautiful. We could walk the streets until midnight, perfectly fine. We can't do that anymore. The horrific scene happening along a remote road in northern Mexico, a place LeBaron Ramos's family has called home for decades, now in the middle of an ongoing cartel war. It's not just got caught in gunfire in the wrong place at the wrong time. This was this is a whole new level of cartel violence. Three mothers and six children from eight months to 12 years old shot and killed on their way to a wedding. As a 13 year old hid five other survivors, all of who are younger, covering them with branches before walking six hours searching for help. He reached the community at night last night and he let everybody know where the other five children were. The kids eventually rescued and rushed from the chaos, taken by helicopter to this hospital in Arizona. The drama of this and what happened to these children and watching their mother being executed and, and other family members being burned in vehicles, the uh, psychological damage to these children will be uh, forever. As it will be for the rest of the family, some of who live in Kansas City, knowing their family who was about to celebrate must now prepare for funerals. Nine um, people killed. We have four bodies to bury. There's five of them that we were not going to be able to bury. LeBaron Ramos tells us she is planning on meeting her other family members in Mexico to attend her cousin's funerals. There is a GoFundMe page to help pay for the surviving children's medical bills. You can find that on our website, KSHB.com. In studio, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News. All right, thank you, Ariel. Now, we did take a closer look at the region where this tragedy happened and discovered violence is a growing problem as different drug cartels try to take over. Uh, an armed group from the from the Juarez cartel in Chihuahua is moving on into Sonora. That is an old turf that the Sinaloa cartel had with the Chihuahua cartel uh, that has lasted more than 10 years. And now the, the Chihuahua, the, the Juarez cartel is moving from Chihuahua into Sonora. It's still unclear whether the attackers intentionally targeted the family, if it was random, if they had spoken, the, the group had spoken out about criminal groups or whether this was a case of mistaken identity.